ways to help them. Uh, South, order. Mr. Speaker, Canadian provinces want to have their say on climate change. Many provinces have cut uh, emissions by more than 14%, uh, so five times more or 5% more than the federal government has proposed. Will the government not show leadership in Copenhagen? Let's be serious. They don't have a plan. They have nothing. We are the laughing stock of the entire world. The Honorable Minister. Kyoto, the party of the carbon tax, the party of European targets superimposed on a continental North American cap and trade system, Mr. Speaker. I don't think so. I'd ask you to remember this. I quote, he said a few weeks ago, we need to hear more about the American position before we decide. He's now heard the American position. It's identical to the Canadian position. Why won't he adopt it? Why does he insist on a position that will isolate Canada, Mr. Speaker? Order, please. The Honourable Member for Ottawa South. He sure can duck and hide. He can bob and weave. He can say whatever pops into his head. But the fact is, he has no plan. After four years and three ministers, Canada has no plan. We are entering the most important negotiations ever, and our businesses, our provinces, and our municipalities have been left to fend for themselves. Now that the Prime Minister has been reeled out of his corner and done an about face on Copenhagen, will he now show just a smidgen, just a bit of leadership, and order this minister to do his job and get a plan for Canada. The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I think Canadians know the only ones really offending for themselves are the Liberal Party, and it's not going so well, Mr. Speaker, with their on-again, off-again carbon tax. Our plans will be harmonized on a continental basic domestic policies, harmonized on a continental basis, Mr. Speaker, integrated with an international treaty that we are currently negotiating at Copenhagen. One thing the Conservative government will never do, Mr. Speaker, is fly over to Copenhagen, pull a target out of the air that's ill-suited to our industrial base, to our geography, and agree to it damaging the Canadian economy. That won't happen on our watch, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member.